Hey Juicers, you may have heard of Harriet Tubman before, but do you know how she became known as the Moses of her people? Harriet Tubman was born into slavery in Dorchester County, Maryland around the year 1820. One of nine children, Harriet's family faced the harsh realities of slavery and were forced apart due to the circumstances of the time. Beginning at age five, Harriet was forced to work in inhumane conditions in both physically demanding plantation jobs and indoor domestic chores. Harriet and her scattered family continued a life of forced slavery in Maryland until September 17, 1849, when Harriet, along with two of her brothers, escaped from their plantation. While her two brothers changed their minds and returned to Maryland, Harriet kept going, and with the help of the Underground Railroad, Harriet traveled to freedom. Harriet was able to find work in Pennsylvania, but she couldn't escape the desire of winning freedom for her friends and family. Harriet soon returned south to help lead her niece and her niece's family to freedom. Over the course of 10 years, Harriet led more than 70 enslaved people to freedom, and her instructions helped dozens of others find their own way to freedom. When the Civil War broke out in America in 1861, Harriet continued to fight for justice as a nurse, spy, and scout. Harriet continued her fight for justice and philanthropy after the war ended through her support of the woman's suffrage movement and her establishment of the Harriet Tubman Home for the Elderly. Harriet Tubman passed away in 1913 due to her deteriorating health. However, her legacy continues as generations remember her efforts to bring her people out of enslavement and into freedom. And that's the juice.